Jokes on me. Tell them folklore. Right. Scary folklore. Ha! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing something different. I'm gonna do like a little sit down and chat video. But I'm gonna talk about scary creatures or things I've thought that was scary movies. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get to them. There's five of them, so prep yourself. So the first one we are gonna talk about is it. The movie is freaking terrifying. I don't like clowns. That's the one thing you will know about me. I did film a reaction video to act reacting to clown sightings. Nowadays, kids, um, kids and adults are dressing like clowns and killing people, and they think it's all fun and games. Well, there's people like me who has huge phobias of them, and this ain't cool. No, no, that ain't cool. I will never. I'm. W like to make an attempt to watch it but at the same time I really don't because I have a huge phobia and you will see at the end of my video I had a breakdown I had a huge breakdown it was just something about the one clip I saw I've screamed bloody curly murder just to let you headphone users know I don't know when that's gonna be uploaded probably towards the end of October I just don't want to post it right now. Not yet, anyways. But, Stephen King, I believe, I think it's Stephen King, correct me if I'm wrong, also released a book on this as well. So, yeah, it is freaking scary. To me. Let's move on. Okay, this next one. Not so scary to me, but at the same time, it is kind of scary to see him kill people in the movie. And I haven't seen the new one yet. So, second one is Michael Myers. <laughs> I think it's so creepy that a guy wearing a mask is going around and killing people. I think in the first one that was released, I can't remember off the top of my head. But my mom's so sorry about that. As I was saying, I can't remember off the top of my head when it was released. Yeah, he killed like possibly four people in that movie. I don't know how he, many he killed it in this one or if he got to kill any. I really kind of want to see it, but I'm actually terrified of scary movies. <laughs> so, I mean, it is kind of scary that a man is going around in a mask killing people. With a butcher knife? But I commend the woman going after him in the one that's really is still is now in theaters. Commending. I'm gonna kill my mom, Michael Myers. Have fun with that. Because if I saw a man with a mask carrying a butcher knife around, <laughs> you bet you my, bet you my butt. I'm going to stay in the house, not going to look out the window, and I'm just going to sit on my rear end and watch Netflix all night without sleeping. Yeah, that's going to be the ultimate goal for me. I feel like I'm rambling <laughs> with this, but yeah, the, I actually seen this one combination where they took like... Um, one of Mike Myers' characters from Austin Powers and actually <laughs> voiced it over for Mike Michael Myers. It was so funny. But I think we should just move on to the next creature. Okay. This creature is from my hometown and this is in fact the Mothman. Dun, 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 dun. There is so many things I know about the Mothman. It is so not even funny because, yes, I actually lived in the town of Point Pleasant. The Mothman was discovered, I believe, in the 60s. A couple claimed that they saw the Mothman at the TNT. But let me show you a picture, a little picture of the statue. But here is the statue, of course. And also the 
the before the Silver Bridge collapse, if you go to Point Pleasant, then you'll know about the Silver Bridge and what happened. The, before it collapsed, the Mothman was seen on top of the bridge. I feel that he was warning everyone that something was going to happen. But if you guys don't know, Fallout 76 is based off of West Virginia, and the Mothman is in it. Hey, I saw a, a playthrough of the game. Like, if you go to the museum, there's like a church. And apparently people in the game worship the Mothman, try to summon him. My mom was so angry about that, but that got me thinking, like, is there actually people in life that would try to summon the Mothman? And it just got me thinking, because I know none of us in Point Pleasant would ever worship the Moth, um, make a cult out of the Mothman, but it just gets you wonder, like, did people actually talk to this, the creator of the, the game, and actually... Try summoning them off, man. It just got me thinking. Like, like to me, this is one of the greatest creatures I ever discovered in my life. Because, yeah, of course I lived in the, um, the town that where it was dedicated. I mean, this creature got famous after sightings was released and a movie was released about it. Like, Point Pleasant was a ghost town at one time until... The Legend of Mothman. Yes. The Legend of the Mothman. I have seen that movie. That movie's kind of creepy. But at the same time, it's not scary. I actually made it through the whole thing. So, if you're going to ask me which one out of these people or creatures I like, I would say I like the Mothman. So, I think we should just move on. Love you, Mothman. Can't wait to play in November 14th. <laughs> okay, this next one is going to be short and simple. I will not be seeing this movie. Not ever. So, The Nun. This makeup tells you all, like, I haven't got sleep or my makeup. I just purely look possessed. That's so me on a Monday morning. Like, I need coffee or I'm going to release The Nun. <laughs> I will, my friend seen this movie and he jumped and screamed and this and that, but I will probably not see this movie because the trailer really creeped me out. I was like, every time I'm watching YouTube, it would come on and I'm just like, you know what? Can you just go away? Go away, go away. I don't want to see this. So... I think I just kept this short and simple. Let's just move on to the final one, shall we? Okay. Here is the next one and the final one. This is Boogeyman. Oh, gosh. Just looking at the picture just creeps me out. I don't know a whole lot about him, but I do know if, you, um, you're, if you're near him, he makes these screeching sounds. But I actually seen, like, a couple of people play... Uh, the boogeyman game in VR. I will probably insert a clip and you'll probably hear what I'm know what I'm talking about when it makes a screeching noise. I don't even know if there's folklore on this, but I do know this creature creeps me out in so many different levels. So I'm just gonna insert that clip and I think we'll be almost done here. Okay, here's a clip. On to that meeting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the the boogeyman. Uh-oh. He got my sister. If you can laugh long enough, so it'll leave you alone. What is that sound? Where? Eventually. Where? I hope. Why is that open? Um. <laughs> That's not great. Uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to get you gone fast. Oh, 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 what, 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 what just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Oh god, the light went out. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh! Ah! 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 I don't even see any hear anything! Come on! Is that it? Okay, that was scary. I will never play that in VR, thank god I don't have VR. But... I, yeah, they were doing that for the Blair Witch, which I believe that he was in it. So, I think I went over everything. 
But also, if you go to the description of this video, I am going to put a link to the It trailer, my the Halloween trailer, the Mothman, I put a Mothman documentary, the Fallout 76 gameplay where I saw where they were showing everything about the Mothman Museum. And also, I will put the Nun trailer in the clip, uh, clip too, in the description too, and also the VR play they did for Boogeyman. But I promise you guys, I will post that clown reaction video probably towards the end of October, probably the day before Halloween, and then. My last video will be me a sit down video, talk about everything and my upcoming plans and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about, but Vlogtober has been great. I just can't believe it's almost ending soon. I do have a YouTube schedule um, figured out for you guys to post. I will probably reveal that on my last, the last day of Vlogtober. So, yeah. Honestly, I love doing these type of videos. Just sit down and have a sit down chat. I cannot wait once Vlogtober is over. I'm probably going to do more sit down videos and hopefully haul soon. But I think that includes my video. I will talk to you guys for my next update. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye guys. Boo.